Hi, this is Mr. Hood, and we're going to look at expressing powers of 10 as negative exponents, fractions, and decimals. But before we start, if you ever have a moment, search powers of 10 FSU. It will direct you to a place online that attempted to visualize very, very large distances on a cosmic level, all the way down to very, very tiny distances on a subatomic level in leaps of powers of 10. Now, I've made that sound far more boring than it is, but give it a shot. It's pretty cool. On to the math. Let's take a look at the exponent term 10 to the negative first. What's important to understand about negative exponents is that negative exponents usually are not negative numbers. What they are are values between 0 and 1. In other words, fractions or decimals. So 10 to the negative first, when we go to write that as a fraction, is just the same as 1 over 10 to the positive first. In other words, we take the negative exponent term, we put it in the denominator, we turn the exponent positive, and we make the numerator 1. So when we go to rewrite that in expanded multiplication, it's just the same as saying 1 over 10. Now, how do we say that? Well, that's 1 tenth. And how do we write it as a decimal? That's 0 0.1. Let's take a look at that second negative exponent term. 10 to the negative second, remember, is not going to be a negative number. It's going to be a fraction or a decimal. So when we go to write it as a fraction, again, we're going to take that exponent term, put it in the denominator. We're going to make the exponent positive, And we're going to make the numerator 1. So when we go to write that in expanded multiplication, what does 10 to the second power mean? It means 10 times 10. And now let's do the math. What is 10 times 10? It's 100. Well, how do we say that? 100th. And how do we write it? 0 0.01. Now that you probably are seeing the pattern, why don't you go ahead and pause the video, try those last two exponent terms, and then we'll come back and check them real quick. All right, let's see what you came up with. 10 to the negative third as a fraction is going to look like 10 to the positive third. Well, 10 to the third power is just 10 times 10 times 10 which is 1 over 1,000, which is 1,000th, which is 0 0.001. Last one. 10 to the negative fourth power is 1 over 10 to the positive fourth power, which is 1 over 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1 over 10,000, which is 1 ten thousandth, which is 0 0.0001.